Hi guys and welcome to the channel where today we're going to be looking at our new one ton Benford dumper. Now we picked this up last week in the snow and it was just too cold to actually do any work on it. Um, I'm sure the first thing you really noticed when pulling it off the trailer was the front wheels were stuck on um, and I thought what an idiot I've left it in gear. Turns out I hadn't left it in gear the brakes were frozen solid um, because now it's defrosted they, they actually it does roll um, so it's a Benford one ton dumper um, with a single cylinder Petter engine on it um, now these are these are such simple engines Really, really simple one cylinder diesel engine. Um, I believe it's an, an AVA1, which is sort of the. What does it say? There it is. Uh, uh, AVA1, which is the predecessor to the PH1. So we don't really have a, an age on this machine, but just going off the engine. They produced that engine from between 1950 and 1966. So we're talking between 55 and, and sort of 70 or years old for this machine, which is, which is quite cool, really. Um, it's in really good condition for that age. Um, you know, look how straight the, the bucket is. There is rust on this. It has been repaired inside. You can see that sheet in there. Um, but on the outside, around here, we do have some rust. Um, now I picked this up off of a friend um, who's had it sat in his barn for, he says, at least 10 years since it was even moved. Um, and he's, he's moving house and... He pulled it out and just wanted to get rid of it, basically. So he doesn't know if it runs. It doesn't come, he couldn't find the starting handle. So we don't actually know if this even turns over yet. We will be checking that in a minute. Um, but apart from that, I mean, the tires all look reasonable. That Some are a bit low, but they've still got air in them. Um, the gear stick seems to go into different gears. The engine looks complete. Um, and it's even things like this seat. Usually these are completely rusted out. And that feels quite solid. So hopefully we'll be able to get this up and running and do a sort of budget restoration on it. Now, unfortunately, guys, we don't have a compressor out here in the field, which means we're going to have to use one of these, which turns a 30-second job into a 10-minute job. <laughs>
Okay, so we've got those tyres inflated. Um, let's see if we can get this to turn over. As I say, we don't have the handle. Um, but this lever here, which is slightly broken, um, basically what you do is you have it in this upright position and that takes the compression out of the engine so you can turn the engine over fast and then as you're turning it you flick that down to there where it then gets compression um, and hopefully the engine starts so if we leave this up in that position there there shouldn't be any compression going to the engine so we should be able to turn this reasonably easy now before we do that first thing I like to do is just check that it does actually have oil, which it does. It's actually over the full mark, but that should be all right for today. Um, so I don't have the handle, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, either a pair of vice grips or a plumber's wrench or something and try and get down here, grab onto this, oh, let it focus, grab onto this and try and turn it now if any of you are sort of watching this and thinking oh how do i start a, a petrol engine there's there's one or a lister engine because they're basically the same thing there is one thing to check and that is this arrow here which is pointing this way and that is the way you turn it and it's bizarre because you might buy exactly the same dumper um, and it might have a slightly different engine and you would turn it anti-clockwise so you do have to check that otherwise you'll be turning it and turning it and turning it and you'll never get it started so um, let's give it a go as I hope you can see that so I'm going to get in here with my plumber's wrench and keep an eye and we'll see if this turns so the compression is off so there shouldn't be any compression Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's really, really smooth and easy. I say smooth, there is a slight grinding noise. I think that's where the flywheel is maybe just touching something. Um, so we now flick this compression lever down we should now, fingers crossed, this should suddenly get very hard to turn, which it doesn't seem to be. No. Oh, a little, little stop there. But that doesn't seem very difficult at all to turn, so we may unfortunately have no compression on this machine okay guys well it has actually just started raining pretty hard you can't really see it in the camera so we're going to call it a day for today. That's really bad news about the compression there, but I'm going to put some thought into that. Um, and I'll, I'll have a look at some online forums and just see if there's any information I can find, if there's a, maybe some common problem with them. Um, they are really easy engines to get a hold of. You know, there's plenty out there. You can pick up a new engine for not a lot of money so it might be worth doing that because i mean the the plan with this is really was to get some paint on it get it running and, and use it around the farm you know so um if you if you do like the video and you want to find out what happens then please do hit the subscribe button hit the like button and we'll see you soon